Hi students. In this video, we will be solving question number 17 from the exercise 10.3 from the chapter straight lines. And this is a first PU syllabus. You go to playlists and look for straight lines. In that folder, you will be able to find all the sums and derivations related to this chapter. Okay. Now let us check question number 17. In a triangle ABC with vertices A, B and C, there is a triangle ABC whose coordinates of the vertices are given to us. And we have to find the equation and also we have to find the length of the altitude from the vertex A. From the vertex A, you are drawing a altitude. Let us understand this. There is a triangle ABC. I am naming them in the same order A, B and C as given in the question. Then I am drawing a perpendicular or altitude from A to its opposite side. That is side BC. Clear? Now, I am calling this point as D. With this much of data, we have to find the equation of AD and we also have to find the length of this AD. Okay? That is what we have to do now. When they say it is altitude, that means it is a perpendicular to the line BC from the vertex A. So, this is 90 degrees. Okay? So, we will be using this condition of perpendicularity to solve this sum. Now, let us write down the data first. Let AD be the altitude of the triangle from vertex A. This is the altitude and AD is perpendicular to BC. Yes, we just discussed and these are the three vertices of the triangle. Then slope of line BC is equal to M1. I am calling slope of BC as M1. Why are we finding the slope of BC now? Let us understand it now. We have to find the equation of line AD. And we know a point on this, correct? A, which is the vertex, lies on this AD also, right? So, we know a point on this. To find the equation of AD, we just need to know the slope of this line. We don't know the slope of this line. So, we can find slope of BC and AD and BC are perpendicular lines. We can use the condition of perpendicularity of slopes and we can get the slope of AD, right? Yes, we shall do it now. I am calling slope of BC as M1 and using these two points B and C to find the slope which is Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. Here you can take any of the points as X1, Y1 and X2, Y2. Okay, it does not affect the value of slope. So, I am considering this as X1, Y1 and this as X2, Y2. So, our slope will be minus 1, minus 2, then 4, minus 1 which will give us minus 3 divided by 3 and that is equal to minus 1. And what is minus 1? It is slope of BC that is minus 1. Now, I am calling slope of AD as M2 now. We know that BC and AD are perpendiculars. I will use that condition now. That is M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1. That is slope of BC into slope of AD is equal to minus 1. Let us substitute for M1 now which gives us minus 1 into M2 that is equal to minus 1. Now, what is slope of AD that is M2 that is equal to 1, right? Yes. Now, we have just found the slope of AD and we know a point on this AD which is 2 comma 3. Using point slope form of a line that is y minus y naught is equal to M into x minus x naught form, we can find the equation of this altitude AD, right? Yes. So, this is 2 comma 3 having slope 1. So, y minus y naught that is y minus 3 is equal to slope is m which is 1 into x minus x naught that is x minus 2. So, this will be y minus 3 is equal to x minus 2. So, y minus x is equal to 1. So, this is the equation of the altitude that is altitude from the vertex A. You can retain this equation. Or you can just rearrange and express it in the form of Ax plus By plus equal to 0. Which will be x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Now we have found the equation of the vertex. Now we have found the equation of the altitude AD. What is it that we have to find? Now we have to find the perpendicular distance or length of AD. Length of this altitude. Length of AD is equal to length of perpendicular from a point 2 comma 3 to BC. Correct? Do you agree with me? Let us understand that. Length of this AD is what we have to find. Now, we know a formula to find the 
perpendicular distance from any point to a line. Right? Do we know that formula? Yes, we know it and we have used many a times. So, from this point A, if we can find this perpendicular distance to line BC, that is if this perpendicular distance, then it is same as finding the length of altitude AD. Do you agree? This is a perpendicular distance. Yes, this is an altitude and it is perpendicular. So, if we can find this perpendicular distance, it is same as length of AD. So, we shall do it now. Now, to find the perpendicular distance from a point to the line, what are the data we need? That is the coordinates of the point and also equation of that line is required. So, we have to have the equation of line BC. So, we shall find the equation of BC now. Slope we have already found and out of B and C, we can consider any one of the point to find the equation of BC and we will use point slope form of a line. So, it is y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught. So, y minus y naught will be I have used 4 comma minus 1 as the point that is coordinates of point B. You can use the coordinate of point C also. Okay. So, y minus of minus 1 will be y plus 1 is equal to slope is minus 1 into x minus x naught that is x minus 4. So, let us simplify y plus 1 is equal to minus x plus 4. On simplification, we get the equation of BC to be x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. So, this is the equation of the line. Which line? Line BC. Now, we know equation of BC and we also know from which point we have to find the perpendicular distance, correct? And that point is 2 comma 3. So, what is the formula? distance of a line from an equation. So, it is distance d is equal to modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c whole divided by root of a square plus b square. So, a and b are coefficients of x and y in the equation. Then what is c? c is the constant and x1, y1 will be the point from which we are finding the perpendicular distance. Is it clear? Yes. Now, we will compare this x plus y minus 3 equal to 0 to the general equation of the line and then we will write down what are a, b and c. So, a is 1, b is 1, c is minus 3. Yes? Yes. Now, x1, y1 will be 2 comma 3 that is vertex a is the x1, y1. It is from that point or from that vertex that we are finding the perpendicular distance. So, length of ad is equal to modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c in the numerator. So, we will substitute that modulus of a is 1, b is 1. We will substitute for a and b as 1 and 1 and this x1, y1 will be a into x1. So, 1 into 2 plus 1 into 3 that is b into y1 plus c is minus 3. This is in the numerator inside modulus whole divided by root of a square plus b square will be coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square which is 1 square plus 1 square. That will be modulus of 2 plus 3 minus 3 whole divided by root 2. So, plus 3 and minus 3 gets cancelled and we will be left with mod 2 by root 2. So, if you write 2 as root 2 into root 2 then one of the root 2 gets cancelled and length of AD is equal to root 2 units. Correct? Yes, length of AD is root 2 units which is the perpendicular distance of the line BC from the point 2 comma 3 which is same as length of AD. We have found the equation of the altitude AD and we have also found the length of AD. So, let us conclude it now. This equation and length of the altitude from the vertex A is x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and root 2 units respectively. Is this clear? Now, just understand with these three vertices, what we did? We had to find the equation of this line when we already knew a point on it. We needed the slope of this AD and we knew that AD and BC are perpendicular lines. We found the slope of BC and used the condition of perpendicularity that is M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1. We used the condition of perpendicularity of slopes and we found the slope of AD. A point and a slope is known to us. So, we found the equation of AD using point slope form of a line. Now, we had to find the length of this AD which is nothing but the perpendicular distance of a line from a point A. So, for that the data required is 
point from which we have to find the perpendicular distance and equation of BC. So when we already know slope of BC and a point on the line, so we found the equation of BC. To find the equation of BC, slope is known to us. You can use either B or the C as the point to use the point slope form of a line and we found the equation of BC. Then we applied it to the standard form that we know to find the perpendicular distance from this point to get the length of the altitude. Hope the sum is very clear. If you still have any doubt, please do mention it in the comment section.